chasing the same grid. That's a lot of good hits. That's a win. Stephen screwed through a decade long career with the UFC. Again, when the seven foot prospect was still growing as a fighter, and as a man. You know, I signed with the UFC when I was 20. Went super fast. Last one? I had to, uh, you know, develop my wrestling, develop my striking, my ground game. I had to get bigger because I was around 230 at that point. I'm 280 now. There we go. One more. Right through me. But my plan was just to keep on winning. Hailing from a region of the world well known for its kickboxing, Struve entered the octagon with experienced opponents. We're always confident with the stylistic matchup. They heard they were fighting a tall guy from Holland, so like immediately they're thinking about the kickboxing and the stand up and all that, so I would be taken down a lot. Very nice, beautiful technique by Stefan Struve. I'm getting better every fight. Just keep looking out for me, man. You're gonna hear a lot of me the, the next coming years. I developed a pretty decent ground game. 16th career win by submission. Finished a, a whole bunch of guys. Pat Berry's in a lot of trouble here. He's gonna slam him. Oh my goodness! Oh! It's all over! Stefan Struve's really growing into a well-rounded fighter. Down and back through me. The skyscraper turned out to be much more than a submission artist. With the left, Stefan the right skyscraper, Struve! <laughs> always found new ways to finish fights as it developed. Oh, he gets reversed and mounted! You've got to beat this kid. He's got a lot of heart. Has tremendous composure, fights with so much heart. And he loves to finish, and that's why everybody loves to see him fight. He's packed on a lot of size, a lot of strength. That's a way right there. And even though he's a really big guy, he's extremely athletic. The UFC's heavyweight division is full of great athletes, and near the top of that list certainly is Stipe Miocic. Both of these guys get some very good exchanges in. Oh, attack him! Attack him! The evolution of Stefan Struve continues. I have shown in fights that I can hang with the best and be the best. Of course, the, the goal is still the belt. Struve, you're looking scary, buddy. That has to be a matchup that Stipe wants back. And, you know, a big statement yeah. over Arlowski. And it puts him right back in the picture. Honey, have you seen my belt? Uh, no, check the bottom drawer, though. Heard you're looking for a belt. I got plenty more. I am gonna need that back, though. Don't lose it! There is no way I'm giving this back. Metro PCS brings you closer than ever to the UFC. Anytime, anywhere, and with no limits. Get four lines of unlimited LTE data for $100, period. Metro PCS, wireless, figured out. I was blind. This March, the wildest fans in all of sport and the world's Olympians return to Las Vegas for the 2018 USA 7s International Rugby Tournament. Buy tickets now at USA7s.com. Be there.
UFC 222 heavyweight Stefan Struve and reigning champion Stipe Miocic, the 2012 bout proved to be a turning point in each of their careers. We had two very different paths. He went up and he became the champ and I struggled. I had a long layoff because of um, health issues and I fought out of throw room. That fight didn't go my way and after that fight I was like, if I'm just gonna stay in Holland right now, I'm probably never gonna see my true potential. By 2015, Struve began spending training camps in the United States with fellow Dutch kickboxer Henry Hooft, whose South Florida gym has since developed into a premier training ground for some of the best fighters on earth. We're gonna do two man drill, one man goes. On the offense for two minutes. We're constantly kicking out the best talent. All the way to the ground, secure the position. Everybody that comes here, you can just see their growth. Secure the position because we're gonna chain after that to grappling. It doesn't take years and years. It takes, you know, two or three camps before you start to see the improvements that the coaches want to implement. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't stop. I want to see your back. Stefan Stru is definitely a unique individual, not just physically. Yeah, look, look, look. Look, you see how fast he was? He's still in a learning mood and being a good student, and he's adding up to his arsenals every day. He's a consummate professional, you know, he always works hard, and he's like a Bentley. He's, he's, he's smooth, and, and he's fast, and he's powerful. Oh, big knee from Struve. Struve chasing the early knockout. If a healthy Stefan Struve gets two or three wins this year, there's going to be no stopping him. He's going to at least knees here in the body. Big knee. He's going to use this for a judo trip. Looking for the dark stroke. Hit us all over! Stay along, long as you can. Stateside fight preparation is paying dividends for Struve, who just turned 30, and readies to test his never-ending progression against former champion Andrei Orlovsky on March 3rd. Where I'm at mentally, I, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling sharp. Last one, then feet. Yes. I expect a great performance, and wherever the fight goes, I will find the opening, I'll win, and I'll knock him out. For Andrei Olavsky, competing at the highest level means honing in on his strongest attributes. Even at 39 years of age, the former champion's patented mobility gives him the edge of the world's best heavyweights. He's a big guy, but he's very elusive and very fast, very explosive, and he's very agile. He looks like a 175 pounder moving out there. We're seeing work from Olavsky that we haven't seen. Different angles, hitting the body, using his kicks again. I still feel a lot of energy inside, you know. I still five and five explosive. Come on. I have that fire in my eyes. I just I wanna like move forward and I wanna definitely try one more time for title shot. Beautiful uppercuts from Andre. Doesn't want people count him out, man. Well, 30 seconds there, Prince. One more title shot means another run through the UFC heavyweight gauntlet. And Stefan Struve knows what to expect in his main card bout with the legend. Let's go, moving your hands, nice and loose when you're ready. Andrei Olovsky doesn't come to wrestle, he doesn't come to grapple, he comes to knock you out. So that's what he's gonna try and do, he's gonna try and cut angles. Chop. Uh, really step in, let's put some body weight, we got two more, hot throw fast combinations and um, you know he's gonna try and find my chin but unfortunately for him my chin is not gonna be found that night last one UFC 222 continues with another former champion in a war of attrition he breaks everybody he fights facing a young finisher oh huge knee by Ortega Ortega is the real deal ladies and gentlemen and the most dominant female of all time the most violent woman in all of MMA. Aims to defend once again in the championship headline. Yeah, yeah. Career-defining moments are at stake for the Warriors of Wagner. When the UFC lights up Las Vegas on March 3rd. And easily the most feared woman in the history of mixed martial arts. I was blind.
get bigger than this in London. The Dooms, without a doubt, one of the best heavyweights of all time. Looking for another shot at UFC gold. Oh, it looks rocked! Alexander Volkov looks to march towards title contendership. That was amazing. One punch, Jimmy Manuel. What's up, London? And that is it. It is all over. The finish will be served. Juan Rodriguez Chavez and his family fought to become American citizens. He wasn't born here, but that fact never once crossed his mind. The four times he put himself in harm's way to save the men who were. Since 1925, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit. Enter Chris Cyborg. Oh! Cyborg is a destroyer, but she is taking on the Invicta Bantamweight Champion. This fight is fantastic. Former lightweight champion Frankie Edgar. Big City! Two of the top three ranked guys in the world going at it. These two young men fight to knock you out and take your head off. So many great matchups. Can't wait! UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Mucic fights for more than just a gold belt. A proud son of immigrants, Stipe fought for his dreams while working two jobs and fighting fires for his community. Stipe still fights fires and still proudly fights for his heritage. The belt is a bonus. Since 1925, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo, the official beer of UFC. series they're coming in one night one shot i'm sitting there determining whether you're going to make it into the ufc or not and it's live and this is an opportunity for the fans to see some of the best up-and-coming talent in the world right now if you're a fan of fighting you can't miss this show the tuesday night contender series live and only on ufc fight pass nights don't get bigger than this in london the Dooms, without a doubt, one of the best heavyweights of all time. Looking for another shot at UFC gold. Oh, it looks rocked! Alexander Volkov looks to march towards title contendership. That was amazing. One punch, Jimmy Manuel. What's up, London? And that is it. It is all over. The finish will be served. Saturday. Cyborg. Before Cyborg defends her belt against Yana Kunitskaya. But this is a fighter who did not back down. The unbeaten Mackenzie Dern. Oh, from Mackenzie wow. Dern. Big tank the tower of Mackenzie Dern. Makes her UFC debut. That is why people are excited for this beat. Against veteran grappler Ashley Gilbert. Yeah. UFC 222 prelims, Saturday at 7 Eastern on FS1. When you talk about Chris Cyborg, you talk about power in its truest form. Oh, Chris Cyborg! Good Lord. She isn't worried about her opponent's counterattack. Fantastic striking ability. She isn't worried about her opponent's power. She is scared. She has not lost a fight since 2005. She's one of the most dominant champions the UFC has ever seen. So when you talk about Chris Cyborg, you know that this fight is going to be crazy. UFC fans here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 222, Cyborg versus Kunitskaya. 
Tomorrow night, the most dominant force in the women's game is back as Chris Seibel puts her UFC featherweight title on the line against Russian challenger Yana Kunitskaya. Plus a co-made event matchup for the ages as former champion and future Hall of Famer Frankie Edgar draws the still undefeated oncoming contender Brian T. City Ortega. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors, EA Sports UFC 3. Become the GOAT in the best UFC game ever made. EA Sports UFC 3, available now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Metro PCS, bringing you closer than ever to the UFC on a pound-for-pound -pound great network that covers 99% of people in the US. Harley Davidson, see your dealer today and learn to ride like some of your favorite UFC fighters with Hope to see all of you once again for the live action tomorrow night. And now to get the UFC 222 way in underway, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the way in How about a round of applause for Ariani and Brittany, ladies and gentlemen? Mick Maynard and Sean Shelby. We got a great card, folks. We're gonna kick things off. In the light heavyweight division, Jordan Johnson versus Adam Milstead. First up on the scale, Adam Milstead, official weight 205. And his opponent, Jordan Johnson. Official way, Johnson. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, on UFC Fight Pass. Jordan Johnson and Adam Milstead. The next fight takes place in the bantamweight division. Brian Caraway versus Cody Stamen. Official weight, 136 for Mr. Stamen. And his opponent, Brian Carraway. Official weight, 135. For Mr. Caraway. Cody Stamen and Brian Caraway, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight is the featured bout on UFC Fight Pass prelims in the welterweight division. Mike Quicksand Pile versus Zach Otto.
division, C.B. Dalloway versus Hector Lombard. Official weight, 134.5 from Mr. Dodson. John Dodson and Pedro Munoz, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the lightweight division. But Neil Dariush versus Alexander Hernandez.
move to the heavyweight division. Stefan Struve versus Andre Orlovsky. So obvious is rocking hub. Ten years, ten years of laying fighters out. Rest of my life. Greatest moment of my professional career. The baddest woman on the planet. Yana Kunitskaya is the Invicta Bantamweight champion. She's a cyborg. You have to out volume her either against Chris Cyborg and having a name. You can say, I've been here before. That means a lot. It's three weeks. If you have a plan, it's good. But after first punch, you know what I remember about playing. It was my goal to fight in UFC. All the girls in the sport watching uh, Cyborg. So probably the best girl in all history. Yes, I think this fight, it's show a lot about weak and strong sides of Cyborg. You know, she's her first fight in FC. A lot of girls don't want to fight with me, and she's show for other girls. You know, it, it's a fight. It's a fight game. Why not? We have the chance now, and if I got this win, I think it will be like history. Like Holly won uh, Ronda Rousey. A lot of fans tell me I'm crazy. Ah, you crazy, crazy. Some fans say you gangster, get this fight. I born to fight. I hope all my fans are going to be there, and they're going to try kill Diana. The greatest female mixed martial artist, Chris. Introducing the challenger, the Invicta Bantamweight Champion, Yana Kunitskaya! Official weight, 144! And her opponent! 
opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Featherweight Champion of the World, Chris Cyborg! Official weight, 145 for the champion! here with the challenger. Yana, this is a huge opportunity for you in a very high profile fight against arguably the greatest female mixed martial arts fighter ever. Give us your thoughts on what tomorrow night means to you. Uh, I'm so excited for this fight and I want to say thank you UFC that they give me this chance and it's my first fight and title shot and fighting like great girl. Like I'm so happy. Good luck to you. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yana Kunitskaya, ladies and gentlemen. And the champion, Chris, this is another opportunity for you to defend your belt. It is a short notice fight. Give us your thoughts on Yana as an opponent and what tomorrow means to you. You know, I always keep training and say everywhere, anywhere, anytime, any girl is going to be ready. Chris Cyborg, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. We'll see you tomorrow.